Darren Sutton in Tempe, Arizona. Allow me to recap that wild score. That's right, 11-0, and it's 20-0 in the first two games. Arizona is beating Arizona State crazy, and it's been now the pressure, but the pressure followed up by the long ball. This is an on-base percentage team, these Wildcats, but Carly scooping with that gorgeous inside-out swing and elevating the softball, her eighth home run of the year amongst the most dangerous with power in this conference. And then the numbers started adding up. It was two, it was three, it was four, it was five, it became six here. Dakota Kennedy drops it down, right? Then things got wild, and we got to watch the freshman run. Kennedy, who four times has been on base in this series, touched all four bases in one opportunity. Some may call that Little League Homer. A couple of miscues, and it was a slate of things to come because Ali Skaggs, 24 home runs last year. Here comes home run number five. She drives it out to right field, a slam. That's right, a grand slam. It's 11-0 at that point, and that's how it would finish. They love her. She's the heart and soul of this team. An All-American a season ago. First two games, incredible. Silva's a big story. Gotta mention what Issa Silva did. Five and a third shutout. As a matter of fact, with runners on base, ASU was one for 10. Silva was money when it mattered to see Scoop and Skaggs. Milius one for three, Harper continues. Harper's got three hits in this series. Marissa had a tough start. What happens in game three? It'll be on Pac-12 Network, two o'clock Pacific. But until then, it's all Arizona Wildcats, and that's your update.